and a bit. Cool, that's good. I've got to look my best, because I'm on Big Mouth tonight. I can't wait to meet Davina. She makes my bark all sticky. Oh, that tickles. Have you got any polish for me knobs? Oh. Ben as he continues his secret mission to laugh in the face of heterosexuality and generally just get on everybody's tits. And then, and then, you know, that's what you get when the bastard love child of Julian Clary and Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> I'd pay to see that, wouldn't you? <laughs> Julian Clary and Gordon Ramsay. Now, that would be great. Anyway, Time to meet our guests. First up, we love a loser on this show, so please put your hands together for Celebrity Big Brother runner-up, Terry Christian! <laughs> and the second wrestling to come out of Southampton after Craig David, it's Scott Mills! <laughs> and then to toe in Prime Arnie, it's the Big Mac audience! <laughs> First things first, Kiva is shocked after a one-night stand with Brian Bello. I've just never really been in that kind of position before. <laughs> Can anyone guess what Nathan's favourite type of piano is? Fucking grand. <laughs> I used to love climbing trees and building sandcastles as a kid. Does anyone else have fond childhood memories? I used to be able to self filate myself when I was younger. you could just sit there and watch the show desperately hoping for a chuckle and a badly written knob gag, then you're wrong. <laughs> Big Mouth really wants to hear from you as well. Please uh, get in touch. There are loads of ways that you can. The details are on your screen right now. I'm plugged into the mainframe. She's feisty. She's funny. But best of all, she can read out loud. It's Susan Kalman! <laughs> you read up tonight. I am uh, literally... This is the most exciting thing that has ever happened in my life. Ever. Literally the most exciting thing ever. Love it. <laughs> ever. Woo! OK, so Jovan became the second person to be booted out of the house. Um, there is a lot to talk about. Terry, let's get your thoughts on the boy bitch. I mean, that's basically what he was. Uh, do you know what? I think he's only 22. It's tough when you're in there, especially at that age. And, you know, obviously, you, if you do the celeb one, you all kind of know each other a bit and you know how to behave, otherwise it could cost you, you know a few bob. Yeah, but, I mean, I think bitching for him, he's just trying to be interesting. <laughs> no, I think he's, he's just trying to be interesting and trying to talk to everyone and, and not bore them. And maybe get friends. Make yeah. friends. And make friends. Well, are you happy about tonight's result? Uh, don't heckle me. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, I feel quite flustered. Do you? Yeah, yeah, you're right. Um, so, uh, yeah. I'll keep them under control. If they do that again... They're a bit insensitive. I wanted it to be uh, Jovan or Dave. Yeah. Dave. Yeah. So, Dave. So, but are you happy about it? Do you like Jovan? Um, I just, I don't know, I just think he is young, but I... Boring. boring. I don't there think he was boring. No, I don't I think, think he was boring, I just think he's a bit of, misguided. A bit misguided, and I didn't like the way that he was kind of bitching about everybody. It's just... I'm, I think I'm the audience feel quite strongly about Jovan. Let's hear some opinions. Who wants to say... Go on. 
I love Jovan. I thought he was really quite cute. I think you're and on your own. No, he's... In this audience, I think you're on your own. Go on, mate. He didn't know what to do. He was like, oh, I'm bi, I'm straight, I'm gay. He's like, oh, what's going to get me a phone? But do you know what I think? <laughs> I think... I think he's worried about what people at home are going to think. I don't think he'd thought it through far enough, um, you know, that he was going to be on national television. Go on, mate. I think he's a nice guy. He's just in the wrong place. I think, I think he's in the wrong place and he's played the wrong game. Um, but basically what he, game do you think that was? Um, basically, he was trying to, try, trying to play people against each other and, yeah. and basically and they all turned on him. And it massively yeah. backfired. Um, so, uh, Susan Kalman is hammering down the fast lane on her internet superhighway. So, uh, what are your thoughts on Joe Van? Well, I, uh, personally speaking, a feisty audience. Love it. I love it's like, it. It's like being in Glasgow on a Saturday night. Yeah! It's yeah! I, had, I had a problem with Joe Van from the start because his name is spelt like an area of Glasgow called Govan. <laughs> uh, where Rabsy Nesbitt's from. And so every time I saw Alex him, I thought, Ferguson. Govan! Uh, but I personally, I'm not disappointed he's gone. I would have preferred it personally if Dave had gone. I'd have yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think it was kind of close. Not I'm, not, bad I'm not disappointed, and I have to be say that the, the viewer comments kind of support the verdict. So uh, what, what are they saying? Peggy Bear, which is a lovely username, but the comment isn't quite as nice. <laughs> said uh, delighted Joe Van has gone. He was well annoying. Well Ooh, annoying. Well annoying. <laughs> And uh, Club Rick said, so happy Joe Van is out. He's a snake in the grass. So that he, they've turned that round on him, isn't it? Because yep, that's the comment yep. that he always uses uh, on other people, snake in the grass. Is anybody sad that he's gone? No. no. I knew that. Joe I'm not going to find one person in the audience. Oh, except for you. Yeah. Lovely, down there. With the oh, Terry, are you sad he's gone? Well, yeah, because I think you need somebody like him in there to stir it up a bit. Yeah. I agree. I'm going to miss him. Is that because he makes you look good? Are you heckling? Excuse me, I want to listen, can I just say something? I quite like these guys, I'd like them to come back. <laughs> can, you just, can you just back off a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, yes, mate, hello. He's too bitchy. He's too bitchy. Yeah, he's too bitchy. Not, he can't on. be too It's like in the first hello. week, hello. in the first week he was a bitch and everything, he had a personality, but then Rachel left and so did his personality. Yeah, but you know, I think I think he did have a few dark days, but the rest of the time he was quite good fun. Him and Lady Josie bed. had a real laugh. He was just laid in bed all day, just. But to be fair, a lot of them do that, eh? Go on. What are you saying? No, he's just a bitch. Full stop. End of story. Yeah, I mean, sorry, <laughs> really. he's a bitch. Hang on, hang on. He just lay in bed, bitching behind someone else's back, yeah. and he didn't get up. He had no character, no charisma, nothing to me, at all. To, to me, the thing is, it's not the bitching. I don't, because I don't mind. If you don't like somebody, you don't like somebody, but it's the stirring. Mm. Yeah. I hate yeah. stirring. Yeah. Anyway, time for a quick break. We'll see you in a bit. <laughs> Never before has Big Brother been so interactive. With the all-new Big Brother's Big Mouth remote control. Fed up with the morons threatening to go home? Um, I'm gonna go home, so sort it, please. Zap! Send them home. I don't think I want to be here anymore. Zap! He's disappeared. Tiring of this hag's tireless whining? Don't turn off. Turn down. Oh, uh, so last 16th of July. It's halfway right. through July. When do your kids break up for summer? Oh. Till the end of... Ah. July or June? June, eh? Oh, that's good. And do we really have to listen to this ball bag drawn yeah. on? The problem is my friends. And on? Basically, I'm sort of doing... And on? Amongst my friends, I'm the quirky one. Not anymore. <laughs> Futuristic. Now you really do decide. The product does not actually exist. Brothers Big Mouth still with us is a man who, like Dave, has rivers of joy bubbling up in his belly for the love of God. It's Terry Christian. <laughs> and <laughs> David Hasselhoff. <laughs> Once spent a few days with him, it's our very own rock DJ Scott Mills. <laughs> and sat behind an actual computer. If you want to know what the future look like, looks like, looks like, likes. <laughs> It looks nothing like this. 